In this video, we'll talk about wandering merchants and share our findings from visiting 100 of them on the ancient city event map. Wandering merchants can be found on many maps, but the ancient city event map seems like a particularly busy hub for them. Let's take a closer look at the map. In our instance, we found a large cluster of merchants on the west side of the center. That said, we also found a number of them on the east side. Beyond that, they are generally alone and can be found randomly spread across the whole map, including one or two spawns in presumably unintended locations. Once they spawn, they stay for two hours, so they will last till the oasis tile burns down on official servers. On private servers, when the timer runs out, they will respawn after around 15 minutes and many will return to the same spot, unlike on other maps. Let's briefly visit a couple of merchants and go through the basics. Once you find a merchant, you will see an interface like this. How long they stay is shown here, as in the time this merchant will hang around. Once it reaches zero, they will disappear. We have visited more than 100 of these merchants and will share our findings with you soon. While not as relevant for this event map, note that you can also bribe a merchant to hang around for an extra 20 minutes per 100 slots by clicking the bribe button. Let's say the merchant buys or sells something of interest to you, but you need to get more slots or pick up an item to sell. If you are concerned that the merchant will be gone by the time you return, you can extend the timer. Of course, there's always the risk that someone else might come along and complete buy or sell orders in the meantime. Talking about flots. Wandering merchants require physical flots in hand for all trades. You cannot use your trade pools balance remotely. Some merchants offer various items, from modules and tablets to special resources. Here's one that sells a weapon strongbox, and what they sell can always be seen on the lower part here including the quantity available. This is not exclusive to you, so another player might already have bought some or all, and when all items have been bought, the respective icon will be greyed out. Other merchants might desire certain items, as seen here. For example, this merchant would like to buy a range of vitamins, and this is also an alternative way for you to gain floats. And finally, occasionally some merchants both sell and buy select items, as seen here. In this case, we are selling the merchant some water for 10 floats per water, giving us physical floats in return. Once he's bought 156 water from any player, it will be greyed out for anyone else as mentioned. Let us briefly cover the more special items that some merchants are selling. There are fiery concoctions. These are required ingredients as part of crafting Hellfire related ammunition. There is the Wondrous Potion. This resets the stats of your character, returning all of the points. And finally, there are strong boxes. These are boxes containing random loot in a specific category. There are tablets, modules, weapons, equipment, armor, and tool strong boxes. These boxes are exclusive to wandering merchants on the ancient city map. Talking about the mystery strong boxes, we'll be opening up one of each type at the end of this video. But first, let's share our findings of visiting 100 merchants. We have several overview tables to show you based on all the merchants that we have visited. While these are all from the ancient city map, beyond the strong boxes, most of our findings should also relate well to merchants on other maps. Now our overview tables. Generally, we found more merchants selling than buying. Here we look closer at the category of items being sold. Strong boxes in detail. In our case, we most frequently encountered weapons. A breakdown of vitamins, and now modules. 
most interestingly, even with only 16 of the 100 merchants selling modules, we came across all 19 types. Twelve of the merchants sold proxy licenses. These might even be more frequent on other maps where merchants don't have strong boxes. Finally, tablets and fragments. All 11 merchants had tablets and fragments, but not all had each type of the tablets. Now, here are items merchants wanted to buy, sorted by most to fewer. And to round it off, based on our averages and merchants, here are our top 10 as far as making flots. Not taking into account how hard or easy either is to craft, of course. That's all of the stats. It's now time to open up one of each strong box. I'm pretty sure we'll be disappointed, but here we go. Do keep in mind that we are on a 10x private server. The tools box gave us 30, well, 3 simple sickles at official server rates. Now that's not that great and not even of any quality. Now the armor box. 3 iron studded armor. At least it's iron armor. Well, it's something and it usually costs a whopping 25 tablets to unlock. The equipment box. Okay, seven bomb bottles. Well, that feels somewhat tame compared to the armor, I'd say. The weapons box. Eight wind and sabers. Okay, it does cost five tablets to unlock. It's of iron level and second to the last one on the tech tree. Now I am super excited. It's time for modules. Okay, 11 lumberjacks. That's only 2200 floats worth of modules and a bad one on top of it. This feels like a total scam considering you can buy the exact module you want from other merchants for 200 a pop. I had really also expected to get multiple types of modules. Maybe we had bad luck? Maybe it's intended. And finally our tablets box. Tablets are 5,000 floats individually, so I do hope we get a bonus with a box. So no, 3 of them, so no bonus, 15,000 for the box and 15,000 value. That aside, we also apparently got a little bit lucky in one way, as a clanmate mentioned finding fragments in his box. So if there is a risk for that and no mystery bonus, then it feels sort of better to just go out and buy them individually. All in all, we got mixed feelings about all of this. I think if Donkey Crew maybe added at least a random quality level to all the armor, weapons and tools, it would be really cool. Now it's a bit disappointing altogether. Modules definitely should be multiple separate types and more worth. And we would have liked to see a small bonus on the tablet box. It could be that we have bad luck and that some boxes do give more than 3 tablets. I guess we won't find out for now, though we'd love to hear if you got multiple module types and or more or less of the quantities that we received in our boxes. Please don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and even hit that bell to support us. 